Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how I painted the horses for the Riders of Rohan using a few different colors so that uh, the horses would have a little variety to it. So uh, the first of the four is the, uh, the light colored ones. And as you can see, I used apothecary white and mixed with contrast medium. So a one to one mix. Also, as far as priming goes, uh, as I, as you can see me just kind of painting, uh, putting, applying this paint on there. I did use, I think I, I primed these gray, but then I went over them with a, uh, a bright gray. I, I actually used the Pro Acryl, I think it was bright warm gray. And just to, I didn't want it to be yellowy like a normal ivory primer that I, that I use. I wanted it to be more white, but I didn't necessarily want it to, to use white. You could, um, you know, and, and it's just going to vary. The color is going to vary. You can always adjust things, uh, maybe not mix in as much contrast medium so that you get that, that kind of gray, uh, blue, very light blue gray color that uh, Apothecary White uh, will produce. So, uh, just as far as technique goes, when applying contrast paint, uh, you want to use, you see the, my brush there, for one, it's a large uh, bristle brush, and it's really loaded with a lot of paint so that I can apply it, get it on the model, and then move it around. You know, we're used to washes that just, you know, run a little easier, um, a little more fluid into the recesses and you want this paint to still stay on you know the the flat surface or the relatively flat surfaces so on the horse i painted everything so that includes the uh, the tail and the mane everything and since the apothecary white is obviously a, a lighter color than the browns we're going to be using you can go over all those leather straps the bridle I believe it's called all that so you do not have to be as careful um, as you'll see I have to you know you, you need to be using the darker browns here so this video is just going to cover the horses and then I have another video that I've already produced uh, that will be coming out shortly that covers all the details I just didn't want the video to be so long uh, that it covers you know 10-12 uh, minutes of horses and then the details so another color that I chose was Signar Brown and again I mixed it with contrast medium about a one-to-one -one mix the browns are very uh, rich and um, if, if you don't apply or if you don't mix them with the contrast medium you really you get a solid color you don't get the uh, the technical effects of the contrast paint where you know, it kind of, you know, when it kind of self levels and the high points and the prime primer here, which was a, um, it was, it was a white ivory um, um, primer that I use here. You don't get the highlights if you don't thin it out with that contrast medium. It just comes across as like a solid brown and you'll really be able to see this more once it dries. Uh, on here again taking um, care not to go over the uh, the leather straps uh, also in the face area that we'll get to in a little bit uh, you you know I do go down to a smaller size brush just so that I can be more careful um, I'm a little more aware of how much paint I have on my brush brush and in the bristles there uh, these large areas the back of the horse there you know you just load it up run it down when you're painting with contrast paints uh, I try to stress this every chance I can uh, because it makes the tool of contrast paint work uh, better be more beneficial but just the way you move the paint around you know you could have contrast paint on your paintbrush it can be wet and if you just move it around, it's going to be like a really, you know, thin, junky layer of, of paint, of opaque paint, instead of getting those effects. So you can see here, 
I'm taking care to go around the bridle. Because the horse is such a large and prominent part of this model, and there wasn't a whole lot of other stuff going on, I wanted to uh, paint the straps and just so that you know there can be a little more detail because you're just going to have you know the the horse color horse hair color the straps and then some silver um, uh, plating armor that the horse has on its head you know so it's, it's there's not a whole lot um, I do um, uh, omit painting the tail and the mane on uh, the brown horses I'll paint those with a black Again, just to try to add a little more uh, variety and kind of break up the, uh, the different parts uh, of, the, of the horse and of the model. So there I just like put a dollop of paint on there and now I'm just, you know, maneuvering it as need be and just being careful. You know, you just kind of, you want to still maintain a, a fairly sharp point so that you can get in those areas. Um, but I, you know, I've probably, I know I've painted well over three, 400 models with contrast paint since it came out a few years ago. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not the most, it's not necessarily intuitive how to apply it. You know, we think one thick coat, but there's, there's more to it than just one thick coat. So now I use the black Templar. So here. I use two parts black Templar to one part contrast paint again, so that some of the uh, the highlights will come out, or so that the properties of contrast paint that make it different than just an opaque paint can be utilized and using a um, that bright undertone or primer, so that uh, that that black um, or so the white will show through the black again i think i start shortening the painting process here it's you know it's the same you know basic model horse four legs rider on top not, not a lot to change here but just working that around I, again oh another point uh, on the brown horses and I, and I do it on this one as well but then i go back and it doesn't matter i also painted the hooves on all the horses black so you can kind of you know uh, the black templar so you can just paint the whole thing as well as the uh, the tail and the mane on the horse just that whole black I, I think on the hooves and the manes i just used a straight uh, black templar paint with no contrast medium so i believe that was the difference now that i'm looking um, at it here so um, you know, this was a, a fun project. I have some other horses for another game with that's also a, a smaller scale, but I'll be using these same techniques. And with uh, so many games, there's uh, cavalry units. So knowing how to paint some horses is a, a pretty useful uh, skill to have as far as wargaming and modeling goes. I'm going to finish up here with the black stallion. And with the darker colors, you know, you just have to, you know, as, as with all painting, be careful around the other details. But if you do kind of splotch it up, just uh, go back with uh, some white primer, just brush it on or uh, what you know some under whatever you use for your under uh, coat under coating just do that you know and, uh, and just move on and paint around it all these colors even the rider for the most part are these you know n uh, natural colors these browns and greens um, and you know you're just you know, you, you just pick whatever favorite color of brown you have and you know you can paint that you know as as you like you know if you like your leathers to be more black than brown you know you can mix in some black or, or mix in a little brown with a black and, and go from there so our last example here one of my favorite paints is wildwood um, brown it's a brown 
it's kind of like a, I don't know, a chestnutty kind of brown. So two parts wild wood to one part contrast medium. And this, uh, this is the, yeah, this is the Bowman. So this is the model that I actually use in my other video is to uh, show um, how I painted the, the other details for the horse and the rider as well. I use, this is kind of my go-to color for um, wood, um, as far as like, uh, you know, trees, bushes, stuff like that. Um, uh, staffs, weapons, wood, wood handled weapons and such. So yeah, it's again, one of my, one of my favorite contrast paints. Hey, in the comments, drop your favorite contrast color that you use the most. I use a lot of my favorites in uh, painting these row hands. Of course, the, the cloaks, uh, spoiler, we'll be using Militarum Green for their cloaks, for the Riders of Rohan, and that's my, just my go-to fantasy ranger cloak uh, color. So I use quite a bit of, of that. Yeah, just, uh, you know, again, being aware of how much paint you have on your brush, you know, what is, what's that, what's the brush going to do once you touch your model? You know, it's going to kind of, you know, push out or splay out and deposit that paint. So you kind of just, you know, on these tight areas, you kind of just kind of lead it up, you know, to that area press down on the brush and let it uh, let it flood into an area and then move it around you know and this the contrast paint does not stay wet as long as a wash does um, but you can you can go back and touch it up within you know five or ten seconds um, because once it starts drying it uh, you know it, it's it just does that. It dries and it kind of gets scabby. So then if you start trying to brush again, you get, you know, you get a look that you're probably not going for. So here we go. We got the finished model. We'll be looking at that quite a bit in, uh, after we finish. So here's, here's again, that picture of all the models after uh, painted them. I hope this video was helpful. If you would, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments or contact me through social media and enjoy painting your Riders of Rohan.